is our second uh, event of opening acts, where we introduce exciting new startups to the Chicago uh, tech community. And with me tonight, we have Eddie Liu, the founder of ShiftGig. So this is uh, exciting. Uh, I have full disclosure, as a member of the uh, I2A fund, I am indirectly an investor in ShiftGig, which is why I'm so excited about what they're doing, because I've gotten a chance to hear and see Eddie's story and what the team is doing there, and I thought I'd be excited to share with all of you. So. Uh, welcome, Eddie. We're glad to have you. Thanks for having us. Having, having ShiftGig here. So, Eddie, tell us, uh, what is ShiftGig? What do, you, what do you guys do? Yeah, so ShiftGig is an online community for the service industry, meaning restaurants, hotels, retail, nightlife, and it basically connects people and employers. And any, any, any people such as bartenders, hosts, cooks, to retail sales associates with businesses. Got it. So obviously LinkedIn is famous for connecting people and jobs. Sounds like you've got a different uh, uh, twist on that, but how is this different from the way someone might use a LinkedIn or a Facebook or other platforms that people might think of for connecting folks like this? Yeah, so we started this company a couple years, two years ago, and I, the big vision was people in the service industry aren't using LinkedIn. They're all on Facebook, and they're just not using LinkedIn. So we started looking at the space, and the reality, it's people in the service industry hang out with people in the service industry, and when they look for jobs, they go door to door, they talk to their friends, or they go on Craigslist. So we thought there was a unique opportunity here to create a community online for this industry. So kind of a LinkedIn for service jobs. Exactly. That's really cool. That's a great idea and a great, great thing to have here. So tell me a little bit about how you got the idea. You know, there's, a, there's a, a million ideas out there for social networks, you know, uh, but this seems like a really interesting uh, need you're filling. How did you identify the opportunity and how'd you, how'd you figure out how to make this work? So, so two years ago, my co-founders and I were looking at what, what Gen Y, what the millennials were doing online. And besides playing games and being on Facebook, we realized that they were trying to find ways to look for jobs and they were using Craigslist. Most 18 to 23 year olds don't have a career, don't have a network, aren't applying for white collar professional jobs on LinkedIn, you know, on sites like Career Builder and LinkedIn. So we started looking at the space, and the reality, a lot of restaurants and businesses that have very high turnover rates, because lots of people come in and go in based off of geography and based off of time in their life, time in their life, they weren't posting on Career Builder and Monster because $400 for a job posting was simply too expensive. Right. And so what happened, they either used Craigslist, where they got tons and tons of random emails. Craigslist is really hard to advertise on, it's exactly. Or, or people go door to door. And so there wasn't a good solution in this So industry. if I'm a restaurant tour, so this is interesting, it's two-sided network, two-sided marketplace, which is always an interesting, one of our favorite topics on Founder Stories is, is to talk about that. But talk for a minute, if you would, about, let's talk about it from each side of the network, because I think it's always interesting. If I'm a restaurant owner, a bar owner, um, what, what's the value prop for me that makes this a better solution than the alternatives? Like, what's the pitch you'd give, what's the elevator pitch you'd give me? So today, an employer has a couple of choices. They either post a job on Craigslist, they post a sign in a window saying come in and apply, or they ask their staff to say, do you, do you have a friend? And they typically don't spend a lot of money on Taleo and other applicant tracking systems. So what we've given is a very simple applicant tracking system and basically telling them, hey, post on our site for free, and they come in, post a job, and they get these great, amazing profiles. It's no longer a resume. They're looking for people, people's personalities, people that have experience. Wait, what, do people, what do people hire on in these jobs? It seems like an important part of making this work. What, what do people hire on? Experience and showing up on time and ultimately appearance. Depending on the type of place and a high-end four-star hotel or restaurant, may look for a certain kind of appearance, whereas a neighborhood Italian restaurant may look for something different. A in PetSmart may look for a certain kind of cashier, or a Macy's may look for a different type of salesperson. And so what's the, what's the universe of places like, who are the early adopters in, in this kind of market? What kind of profile are those businesses? We're getting a little bit of everything. We, we're getting quick casual, we're getting fine dining, we're getting hotels. In Chicago alone, in the last 18 months, we've had over 3,500 businesses sign up to use ShiftGig. That's terrific. That's terrific. What's your traction overall? I heard it's pretty impressive. What, what, what can you share? 
Yeah, so we've had great success in Chicago, 70,000 people and 3,500 businesses. And we've since launched in nine cities. So we're in New York, Los Angeles, Miami, Philadelphia, most of the major cities. And, and 10,000 businesses have signed up in 18, 18 months and 330,000 people. Wow, 330,000 people, 10,000 businesses. That's amazing. That's really, really fantastic. And as the job seeker, what's the benefit of this? If I'm a job seeker, why, why am I here versus other platforms? So you come on the shift gig and you create a profile. A profile is, a co is some of your resume information, but also some of your personality. And, and it's not your personal information. It's not your Facebook information. And, and so people that create great profiles get interviews. And we've had people that say, wow, this is great. I created a profile, applied for four places, got one interview, and then five businesses contacted me. And so what we say is jobs apply to you. When you come on ShiftGig, create a great profile, employers will come looking for you. I remember we invested at the I2A, uh, I think we saw a video of a woman, I think it was in the Philippines? Or and she said she went on ShiftGig and she was coming back home and she went to look for a job and she uh, already had her job before she even left the Philippines. I mean, it was pretty... Uh, Pretty amazing. So this is, we like to profile this because one, it's exciting to hear about the interesting companies. You hear about 1871, you hear about the Chicago tech community, but to hear a story that really gives you a feel for the exciting things happening is great. And the other thing is, of course, a lot of people would like to work and work for exciting companies and it sounds like you're growing, growing well. Um, what, what is, uh, what's your vision for what Shift Gig could be, you know, when it grows up, when it reaches, what's, what's the ultimate opportunity here? Well, when near term, we plan on continuing to grow in our nine cities. We plan on expanding to 16 cities later this year and 28 by the end of 2014. And we've already had Toronto, London, other cities outside of the U.S. reach us. So probably in 20, late 2014, we consider go international. But we really want to be LinkedIn for the service industry. 80 million people in the U.S. that have service type of jobs. It's a huge opportunity for us, and we're trying to build community-like futures so that we could be LinkedIn for hourly workers. That's fantastic. What a vision. What, what great success. Uh, great to have it in Chicago. Uh, thanks for being here, and congratulations yeah. on your great success, Safari. Take care. Thanks, thanks for having us.